Alright, good evening. Tonight we're going to be playing Gilligan's Island for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Now, I've never played this game before, and if I was a lucky man, I would never play this. But, unfortunately, in the weekly one-shot, I failed to clear Darkwing Duck within the one hour that I allowed myself. I simply sandbagged too hard. And, as is tradition, if I fail one of my weekly one-shots, I play a punishment game, as submitted by one of the subscribers in chat. I just pick it out by random, and this is what we rolled, courtesy of Shadow Slicer 29 As I said, haven't played this game before, don't know what to expect, except it's probably bad. Let's just jump right into it. We'll get that timer going, not that there's any real reason to, since we're not on a timer here, but it's good to know how much of my life I'm losing to whatever this is. Episode 1 start. Okay, alright. Now hear this everyone, it looks like a storm is coming tonight, we're going to have to build G Gilligan, a large umbrella. No, we have to build a hut to protect us from the storm and I want everyone to help and gather the necessary materials, the professor will fix the transmitter, Marianne will make dinner. <laughs> Can't get away with that in Sweden. Howls will cut the logs. A howl never does any work that requires manual labor. Go find a contractor and be quick. The lack of music is making me pretty nervous here. Okay, and now the game starts in earnest. Uh, I said I wasn't on a timer, but it looks like the game has its own timer. We are... this fat guy here, we're the skipper, right? So we can walk, we can jump, we can press select to have a map, a food and rope. Don't know what any of these do, let's have a look. Map. Nice, an actual map of the area. Food. Appears to give us a couple bits of life. And rope. I guess Rope brought uh, Gilligan here right next to us. Okay, wonderful. Now I know nothing about Gilligan's Island. It was a... Well, I'm led to understand it was a TV show in America at some point. Something I'm not familiar with at all. At least in this game our, uh, our people are talking amongst each other. So, never do anything right. Let's go up in the world. And just get stabbed by these things. You're the skipper. I think you should go first. Okay, what? <laughs> that guy can really swim. Okay. Skipper, what do you think it is? Well, it's not quicksand. Okay, looks like you can mash your way out of this stuff. So, curiously, do we have anybody in chat who has played this garbage before? Alright, found a couple of our friends. Seems they are immune to my fist. Oh, Howell, he's the, the posh guy, right? I've lost my wedding band. Does anybody know where it is? If anybody finds my ring, I'll give them. A jar of Russia's finest caviar. I got it the way any capitalist would. I want it in a friendly poker game. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, lovely. And who's the lassie? The lassie is lovely. The bird took the ring to its nest. Any trees around here? Oh well, let's go on the hunt. Uh, let's hunt. Don't know how that timer works, but hopefully it doesn't just... Well, I don't know how it's going to work at all. Maybe it ends and it just says game over and doesn't let me start the game again. Now with punishment games, there's no... Ooh. Ooh. Alright, mash like your life depends on it, man. Oh. 
wait, where am I now? Uh, far below it seems. And Skipper isn't here with me. No, wait, where's Skipper? It's Gilligan. Gilligan ain't with us. So, Devolante is asking if there's any polar bears in this game. I don't know, it looks a bit more like a tropical island. Oh, okay, the, uh, the mice are dangerous. All that jumping feels like, um, feels like Thrilla's Surfari. So hang on, that rope, does it bring him next to me? Aha, there we go. Welcome back, Gilligan. Let's do what we gotta do. We gotta find ourselves that ring. Okay, so they're boars then. Either that or they're hog swine. Is that what they are? Or was it moss swine? The uh, monster hunter ones. This tree up ahead has a bird's nest on top. Ooh! That could be useful information. Marianne's quite a nice name. Alright, let's go, Gilligan. Let's find ourselves that ring. Wait, that's where I came from. This music, by the way, is pretty terrible. Right, we're not scared of any of this stuff. Oh, there he goes. Alright, so perhaps our friend Gilligan's gonna be useful for something every now and then. Skipper, I found the ring. There's all kinds of things up here. The howls sure are rich. If you don't come down right away, the howls will think I took the ring. What? They know the bird. Oh, whatever. So, good. We got the ring on us. Let's go and speak to the howls, have them do their dirty work. Hamster is saying, Jake already played DDLC though. No, no, I played it for... I played it for a short bit of time. I think I only did one or two bits of poetry. But I'm keen to play it uh, right the way through. I just not have not yet made the time for it. Ooh, food. Chomp that right down. Alright, you posh tea bucket, here you go. So now I've got a jar of the finest caviar, which I suppose somebody is going to want. How do you lose a ring, by the way? I heard a ghastly sound over by the professor. There is some disturbance over the professor's way. Where is he? Probably over by M? Well, let's go. What's that? Up, up, up. Left, down, down, down. Jake playing The Sims when? The first game is considered retro now, right? Uh, I played The Sims 1 quite a lot on the PS2. Can I even get up there? No, no need. Alright, looks like I can grab extra time with those little timers. I guess those and the food are randomly distributed. 
I mean, I don't really see much point in playing The Sims on stream at all. Ah, no, it was M for Marianne, so when you find them, they're gonna uh, be on the map. That's useful. So, it's worth my time to explore everywhere, find everyone. I'm pretty sure I saw a weekly one-shot of The Sims, which was... How did it go again? Make a household with yourself and Lucky. And do something. I forget the exact part. Alright, this is where the tree was. No need to come back here. What are you doing? What do you think it is? I got a really bad feeling. So is the TV show as silly as this game is? I mean, it was an American show, no doubt. Blown Rated says, Jake, I'd watch you play The Sims. Well, isn't that lovely? Fortunately for me, that's... Not what I base whether or not I'm going to stream something on. Otherwise, I'd certainly not play DDR. Nobody watches that. And I certainly wouldn't play this. Did I get hurt by him getting caught there? Now, if I go down, I'm just going to end up back at the start, but I want to double back to make sure that nothing... No, there are the birds here. I don't want to double back at all. Joy of joy, monkeys. Alright, who is this guy? Ah, Professor! The gorilla and the monkey have confiscated the transmitter. They're on the other side of the bridge. Use this club. Right. The gorilla and the monkey have confiscated the transmitter. Other side of the bridge. Okay. Uh, looks like I have to go up and over for that, and I've fairly been burning through my time like the blazing bagel burns through levels. So I guess I have to go up and right. The TV show had more annoying music somehow, says Sid. Might have to catch a, uh, well, at least a little bit of an episode online. Alright, up and to the right, that's probably where we gotta go. Thankfully these are Nintendo seconds. Alright, come on Donkey Kong. Jake, what's better, Heroes of Might and Magic 2 or 3? 2. Okay, so unfortunately it doesn't see many of my attacks do anything. And I'll check down here before I go down the hole. Hold on, did he just fall down the hole? point to this, right? And imagine being a child on Christmas and this is what you got. Okay, this ain't working. Help me out there, Gilligan. Oh no, this is going to take me back. Isn't this beautiful scenery? Just lovely. It would look better if... Oh, <laughs> Alright, let's go. Gotta 
ways to go. Ah, <sighs> couldn't we kill one of these moss swines and eat them? Man, I just want to play Monster Hunter. And Gilligan is the skinny guy, and Skipper is the one with the club. I'm basing this on Gilligan being the moron. Alright, running out of time here to go and wrestle that ape. Oh, oh, okay. Well, it was such beautiful scenery, we can go and see it again. Ooh, that rope could come in handy. I can't stay right behind you when you're not in front of me. Okay. We'll keep that in mind as we get bombarded by aerial attacks. And the game is reminding me here that I have only two minutes to go and club this gorilla to death. Go wrestle this guy. Help a friend out here. Boy, Skipper, the transmit her. Doesn't look broken. Take it to the professor right away. Well, I got a minute to do so. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Gilligan. Uh oh, I stepped on it. Gilligan, I should have known better. Asking you to help is like putting a fire out with gasoline. Was this a useful shortcut? I think so, Professor is left, down, down, right, down. Mm. Left, down, down. Where did I suddenly get some time from? Anyway, here you go, Prof. <laughs> it's probably better than I can't find him. Okay, well, that's what we've got the ropes for. If you use this saw to cut down trees, you can build a hut. Um, okay. But there was a big saw next to Mary Ann, but that's a long ways away. Uh, up. Far left. Okay. Well, this doesn't look good. So I'm just talking about the game in general there. Get out of here, I seem to have more time without you. Gilligan's not with you? He's probably making a mess somewhere. Yeah. And his mess always mess me up. Okay. So... 
if I were to magic my way across a rope, I would be able to be okay. I wonder if I can glitch it out. <laughs> Gilligan, the supper's ready and I'm hungry, so come out now. I wonder if that's a spawn point for items then, as in if I go up and down between these two areas, will I spawn, say, a timer? I'm willing to try it, otherwise I'll just go to the wood and then spawn, uh... Spawn that loser. Because otherwise I got no time left. I'll give it three more goes, two more goes, one more go. Well, pretty ruined. Get over here. Let's eat after the hut is finished, just like we used to in Kansas after building a barn. Okay. Uh, not what I was expecting. I... Hmm. <laughs> I did not read that as rope. If you want to continue, push start button. Okay, I do. Of course, this is just episode one. But it's okay, we know exactly what to do. start for people that know what to do. So is the game one big escort quest? Because that's very not good. Pepperoshini says the devil created this game knowing it would be used as a punishment against Jake. What a guy. Well, this time we won't waste all of our items immediately. Thanks, Howl. Really no idea if I have to talk to those guys first or not. Oh, where was that tree? It's over here, right? What is the purpose of the slow down place? And these ones where you just have to mash your way through. Alright, get up there. Now nah, I'm out of here. Jake will make this into a series. No, not this game into a series. This is part of a series of punishment games, and I think this is the 82nd punishment game I've had to play. Which probably speaks for my skill at the uh, weekly one-shots and two hours of hell. Some punishment games have been really good, though. And that's Marianne. Is she on the map now? Yes. Fresh Corgi says, I wonder what number 100 will be. Something special, one would hope. Yeah, maybe... Maybe she, people should uh, pull together their answer on what the worst punishment game could be, and then we roll with that for number 100.
Not the CDI Nitro. I can't play with the CDI. Alright, so we've gotten ourselves some caviar, which I can't remember the use for again. But I think I need to go and see the uh, professor now. Is that right? No, I don't go over there till I get the club, so... Trying desperately to remember what I meant to do here. I think it was down, bottom right. EU3, three, three mountains for 100 punishment. No. I think I said early on that I will never be playing our grand strategy games as punishment games. It's kind of a conflict of interest right there. There you are, Professor. The gorilla and the monkey. Yes, okay. Thanks for the club. I wonder what would happen if I go and, uh, went to see him first. Would he still give me the club? for some new and better music when we enter episode 2. Wow, Skipper, take a look at this. Take a look at what? fight again. Well, I'm glad Gilligan's having a little dance while we do this. Okay, so Gilgan steps in the transceiver once again. I wonder if it's a shortcut to go down that. I also wonder, maybe this is the right way to go. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. This is not the EU4 I was promised, says Worm. I recall promising nothing. Besides, I thought Germans loved this kind of game. You know, not fun. Alright, making much better time this time. Ha! Huh. Almost too good. Here's your transceiver. If you use the saw to cut down trees, okay. Now we know of one tree. In fact, there's so far been only one accessible tree. Let's head to it. Kill again. Such a moron. Ah. Oh. oh, forget it. I've got rope. Is that how it worked in the show? Skipper would crack a rope and then Gilligan would appear? Wow. Okay. I guess they skipped the budget for the sawing animation.
Blacktimus is saying the gameplay is almost as intense as that Korean RPG you recently played. I felt really sad when playing Maple Legends. Really sad. And it was a lingering sadness as well. Okay, well we did say we would build the barn... not the barn, the hut. Which is of course going to... <laughs> we're gonna build it in seven minutes and it's going to survive an incoming storm. Apparently. In the show, Skipper would hang Gilligan by the neck until he was close to death. It was very funny. That sounds it. Alright, let's skedaddle. We're all done here. Wake up, little buddy. The ground is shaking. I'm still sleepy. Get up and take a look outside. Skipper, the island turned into water overnight. Gilligan, the spot you picked to build the hut was too close to the beach. Look at the mess you got us into now. Well, at least we're off the island. I wonder where we we'll end up this time. Okay. So we built a hut that can actually float, it seems. Now what? Well, I enjoy a whole lot of score. This is a sound effect I really like. It's not something you get in games that often anymore. The sound of your score being chalked up. Good score for... Hanging Gilligan there. Push a button. A lot of buttons to push. Narrow that one down. Password Kid MC Ict. Nope. Okay, what's the 411, Chief? Mary Ann was taken by some headhunters. I tried to stop them, but I'm useless. Oh dear, that's dreadful. Did you attack them? I hit my head on a rock and passed out. How absurd if I'd been there with my trusty saber, they never would have gotten away. After all, I was captain of the Harvard fencing team. There were four of them, they were big and strong. Perhaps it was better that I wasn't there. <laughs> well, everybody's going to have to help free Marianne from the headhunters. And then we immediately split up, but we get some different music. Okay, new map as well. Fan bloody testing. Okay, so I lost my food and my ropes. Help us out here, Professor. Mm, that wasn't useful at all. Let's take a plunge. Oh, I didn't think I'd be alone. There we go. You come down with me. Is that a headhunter? Okay, there's nothing there. Hmm. Meaty fist justice for you. Fascinating. Oh, hello, Howl. I think there is a stone tablet in this hole. I saw it while I was practicing with my driver. There's some native gibberish written on it, too. Thurston, don't be silly. Our driver is back at home. I believe his name is Chuck. Uh-huh. Oh, 
Is everyone this useless in the show? Alright, let's go and... Oh, Jesus. Skipper. There we go. Let's go and get that gibberish. Skipper, we found the stone tablet. Gilligan, don't move. I'll pick it up. Skipper, can I move now? Thank goodness you didn't make a mess this time. I think that's something not used in shows and media and comedy anymore, just having one guy that's essentially somebody you beat with the stick. Maybe it's not PC anymore. But that's certainly for the better, because it's pretty lame. Okay, so we got ourselves the tablet. Hold on, tablet? Usable? No, it's just there. Also, it's tablet one. Perhaps there are more. Maybe we have to give them to the headhunters. I do not know. We'll check all the stuff over on this side first. feelings about this new music. I wanted it, but it's it's pretty bad. This game's reminding me of uh, that Konami Man game, but not in good ways. I'm not sure if there are good ways. Alright, up you go. Find us something good. Uh, okay. Oh, so they are shipwrecked. They're not here out of choice. What's the point of the transmitter, then? is remarkably unenjoyable. Alright, quick look right. Some natives to oppress. <laughs> He's running away crying. Maybe I can slaughter them. Tempted to look down there, but we'll see if I didn't miss anything around here. Eh, probably not. Down the hole. Oh no, we know this place. You were the one who asked us to stop submitting punishments, Jake. It's your own fault you aren't playing the next Majesty. Well, it's certainly my fault we're not playing Majesty 3. I gotta find something to do. Get yourself over here. Where'd he come from? So, this is the stone tablet. Hmm, I can't solve it until I have my textbook on ancient South Pacific languages back from Mr. Howell. Go and ask him to it, okay. Howell is all the way over there. Did Jake ever finish the DLC? What DLC?
Oh, DLC for Majestic 2. I can't remember. It was a Monster Quest one. No, no, I didn't. Alright, cough it up. Why don't you be a good lad and find my golf ball? I think it's in the tree across the river. Then I'll return the... An island of assholes. Alright, where did you say it was? Find my golf ball. It's in the tree across the river. There's a few rivers, chap. Uh, but there were a couple of trees that I found earlier. It was down and over, right? Somebody su uh, should suggest Doki Doki Literature Club as a punishment for Jake. I'm going to be playing that after this, but not on stream. I just want to enjoy the game. I played it for about an hour. I want to play it for a bit more. Go and get that ball. I got a really... Boy, if Mr. Howell hit his golf ball up here, then he isn't a very good golfer. But if it had been you, the club would be up there and not the ball. It's, it's, it's just full of assholes. And I didn't cross a river to get here. Have you managed to go without spoilers? Yes, I have. I intend on keeping it that way. Thank you. Now I can finish the first annual Gilligan's Island Open. Where's that textbook then? Tell the professor that his book on languages is boring. Money is the only language everyone understands. Ah, see, I like this Howell fellow. Do you know where Marianne is? The professor might know. We know she was taken away by the headhunters. Well, we don't know that, actually. Gilligan the Useless told us that. He might have just imagined the situation. It's remarkable how they managed to take all the not fun parts of gaming and make a game out of it. Would I want to be the guy fan games count as punishment? Yeah, we've already had I want to be the guy and I want to be the boshy. But the fan games just make it more and more horrible. Alright, Professor. Got your stupid nerd book. I think I have deciphered the inscription. Oh yes, here's a club. Okay. The headhunter is in one of the caves. <laughs> I <disguise laughs> deciphered it. Oh yeah, here's a club. There's uh... They write themselves into a wall here. Let's go. Let's explore thoroughly now. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, I was wondering if it hurt when you fall over like that, but no, it's just when you get attacked. Alright, let's go and save Marianne. I'm a bit worried that this game is not working as a viewer reduction strat. You should get out whilst you can. I'm three under and the leader after three rounds. Get the key from the head hunt to free me what the key for what? And how do I use this? Hmm, river sure didn't help. Unless the club Unlock some kind of secret. <laughs> Count Flandy says, I'd leave and do something else, but I've literally got nothing better to do. I think that sums up a lot of the people around here. should find the hole first, and then I can worry about where Gilligan is. I guess Gilligan's Supper's Ready is one of the lines from the show. Mm. Nukes Dan says, I'm actually plus one on that, nothing else to do, and Jake's voice is so soothing. Yeah, but then you don't have to watch the awful games here, you can just watch the whiskey reviews on repeat. Hang on, they might be down here. Oh. Found something much worse than headhunters down here. Mm. Well, running out of ideas here. I'll have to backtrack towards the professor, see if I can find another cave to go in. Break the tree with the clave. What? Where are you hiding her? this hole, but I... we tried it, right? Yeah. I don't watch whiskey reviews because I don't drink whiskey. Well, you can fix both those things. I think finding that timer is a bit of a curse. Might not work, but you could try swimming up the river. Ooh. A novel idea. Hmm. 
I mean, I've played worse, but I'm struggling to think of when. Okay, no, you can't swim up the river. It only forces you down. Try the river again. Oh ho! Everything's coming up, Thrill House. Did you get the key? You can't defeat the headhunters without a club. Way ahead of you there. Let's get clubbing. Oh wow, he, he whacks a punch. Hmm, don't want to go down that pit just yet. Let's explore everything we can here first. Get your ass back here. Oh my. We're pretty powerful, but we're stronger. Maybe. Don't worry guys, I've got him in a pattern. <laughs> you better run. We found the key. Alright, let's go and save Marianne. Damn, I love oppressing natives. Just a second and I'll open the door. Huh? I can't open it. Gilligan, you idiot. That's the wrong hole. <sighs> they almost made soup out of me. It's a good thing that we got here in time. Marianne can make dinner. I am hungry. Good, let's go back and tell everyone that Marianne is available to make dinner. Mm. You're safe now and back amongst civilized people. Yeah, and you're back with us. Uh oh. Jesus. Hmm. It seems she saw how brave you were and has fallen in love with you. She wants you for her husband. <laughs> Good job, Gilligan. Alright, well that was really awful. Let's Club and keep moving. <sighs> Iopaplod, easy. 
So what now? Professor, have you figured out the meaning of the stone tablet yet? Unless I have all the missing pieces, a solution to this puzzle is not possible. But by examining the contents... <sighs> Sorry, this plot's just so exciting it's tiring me out. It seems to be some sort of illustration. I bet you it's a map of the island. Gilligan's assumption might be correct. The stone tablet could possibly give us the island's coordinates. Maybe we can get off the island. Let's look for missing pieces. With all the time on this island, it would be good to be on dry land again. Skipper, let's find the missing pieces. Alright, let's just enjoy the new music. Kind of scary music, really. Alright, this is a waste of time. Looks like somewhere a river will take me out at, though. Hold up, where did uh, Gilligan go? Did he get eaten by the wildlife? Oh, jeez, this music. I'll take level one again, please. Alright, lots of different ways to go. I'll go left, then up, then... No, I'll go up first. Hey, it's Lowy? Lovey! Where's Thurston run off to this time? Please be a deer, go find him. Oh, this music is hurting my head. Down you go, friendo. Okay, really, who made this music? It's like they took the worst part of Metro use music and mixed it with Deadly Towers. Please, we try not to talk too much about Deadly Towers around here. Oh hey, it's the one that loves, uh... <laughs> He'd rather drown than see her. Okay. It's Marianne. Where's my dinner? Oh, of course she's not going to speak to us unless... So-and-so is with us. Get out of here. I think Mr. Howell has fallen into one of these holes. I'll never do anything right. Let's go, Gilligan. Fresh Corgi asks how I'm feeling after an hour of punishment. Sufficiently punished. You know, just three minutes of uh, going over time on Darkwing Duck. And this is what it's caused.
Hey, we got lucky though. We found the man. You came just at the right time. I'm contemplating a swim. Go fetch my swimming suit from Mrs. Howell. Oh. Alright, let's get out of here. That, oh no. Come on. Now, where was she? Alright, we're right next to her. Excellent. We'll get that swimming suit in no time. Bathing suit? Take him this. Is it your one? Just saying this game has to have something going for it. You know, if we wouldn't get my account banned, I wouldn't mind us all just sitting back and watching some Gilligan Island together. Also, has this game been on a Games Done Quick marathon at all? I should check that out. Thank you, please accept this piece of stone tablet. You know, what we all agreed that we'd find together. Alright, Professor's down the river, he says. Uh-huh. This is not where the professor is. Oh, this is getting painful. I mean, that's the point. So I hope Shadow Slicer is laughing his ass off. I think perhaps the professor was down the river, just not this far down the river. Uh, are you going to tell me where the professor is? Was Thurston surprised? No. Professor! Here's the formula for the melting so- why? Why? Jake, I found a world record right- I don't want that, I want something with commentary. There's no point just watching a straight up run in my book.
I want commentary, I want to chat with interaction, and I certainly want narration for what's going on. Alright, well, whatever the case, we need to get out of here and speak to Marianne. You know, I'm really glad that Noxus, or, uh, whatever his name is, is really loving the soundtrack. Because a punishment game doesn't just have to be punishing, well, it doesn't have to just be punishing for me. If it's punishing for you, then that's fine too. Getting fetch quested out here though. Well, we could fetch a good game. Alright. This is far away from where everyone is. Maybe we should have a look while we're here. We found everybody. So I guess there's going to be uh, more, much more stuff to find. Anything? No, thought not. But we will likely have to come back here. Hmm. That's probably my ticket out of here. club him to death. I always do when it's an enemy. So maybe the solution or the formula will have Marianne make me a club. Get over here, we'll hang you. Don't fall down the hole. Marianne will give us a solution. The professor wants me to make the solution? I'll need some nuts. Go to the... How did I even get there again? This game is truly, truly terrible. Got a stiff upper lip the way through it, though. So, how was it again? I think I had to go down some of this. further down, wasn't it? And then I wanted that hole. Use my incredible power of memory here. 
I want to see Jake spawn the bear, then triumph against it. I'm not a fan of torturing Jake, but seeing him win against it would be amazing, says Count Flandy. It's all adding up to the same thing in my head here. Alright, oh, Jesus Christ. Get your ass over here. Now go. We need those nuts for something. I found a nut. I, I, you did. Mark Yer says, Do you think Team Johan will win the Dev Clash? I have every confidence that Team Johan is going to win the Dev Clash. What is the story behind John Mayan? Well, in Victoria 2, uh, John Mayan is a bit of a joke country, but it is there. Not low, it's Marianne. And then at one point, it was actually Wiz decided, you know what, we're going to have Jan Mayan in uh, EU4. When he was working on some other stuff. And then he put in the Bear Has Landed script, and away we went. If I have this, just a second, take this formula to the prof... Oh yeah, John Mayan is a real island. I uh, forget that might not be obvious. I mean, only a few sorry sods. Uh... It is permanently settled, right? Pretty sure it is. Wait, is this river the way I meant to go? I think it is. Ah, uh, mistakes were made. I'd love to see you and Starnan in the next Dev Clash, says Fark Yeah, Yeah, I was generally taken out of the Dev Clash because I was too good. And if you don't buy that, it's because, well, somebody needs to commentate it. But hey, if you'd rather have Blondie and Anders do the commentary, then speak loudly and proudly. Wasn't it this? Maybe a bit further? Yeah, that's more like it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, here you go, Professor. Great, we got it. Here's part of the stone tablet and a clutch. According to my calculations, the last piece is down a river and through a cave. Watch out for the bear. Are you telling me that the bear will land? Or that it has already landed? Again, how did I get to the place in the top left? I think it was the same path to get to the professor, but down the hole.
Ah, yes, of course. So down here. And I think I want that. Let's hop and skip across. Hope I got some food. I do not have some food. Is that always full? No, I need some food though. I don't need you. Oh, game haired me. That is natural luck stat right there. I forget, it's over here. Oh, what? Come on. Hmm, I'd have thought the food was here before. Will it be there again? It appears not. Oh well, let's get a move on. Is it another punishment? Heavens no. This game is awful. Alright, bear, let's juke it out. Help out any time now, Gilgan. This is your island, right? <laughs> And that is exactly how the fight with John Mayan's gonna go. We found the tablet! Thank goodness you didn't make a mess this time. Let's take it to the professor. Ah. Now that we have found all the missing pieces, let's put it together. Let me try. I just love puzzles. This goes here. That one goes there. This one here. Is that not a giant dinosaur? Uh... Inconsequential. Little buddy, go catch some fish for dinner. Aye, aye, skipper. Ah, don't come back. Everybody listen, the native chief has informed me there's a stone idol somewhere on the island that will grant one wish to its inquirer. I'd wish myself right back to the Howell Country Club. But why didn't you tell Gilligan? Because Gilligan always seems to wreck the one wish that we all have, getting off the island. Okay, we've got a larger map, lots more time, and... Oh, I think we've beat the game. Let's never look at this ever again. God, this is horrible. So horrible, I am done with it.
It's been uh, just about an hour and a half of Gilgan's Island, and that was an hour and a half too much. <sighs> Suddenly everything feels a lot better now that... Uh, now that I'm not playing it. Okay. So if you're new to the channel, that's how the punishment games go. They tend to be pretty horrible or insanely challenging, either for me or for you. And that's our lot for today. I will be back tomorrow, quite likely with EU4. Can't put the bear off forever. Really, it's the Turk that's the looming threat right now. But it'd be nice to get myself away to bed early. So just for now, it's cheers and it's cheerio.